Which of these two new items are you looking forward to the most? The hand trolley which allows you to move chests with items in it or the advanced crafting table which automatically uses resources from nearby chests saving you time? The new advanced crafting table says it works on a grid of 10 by 10 which I've got measured here but the problem is the bench itself is two squares wide and one square deep. It doesn't sit exactly in the middle. I wanted to test the range of this magic as well as share with you my own layout when using these two new items in the Breezy Autumn update. Let's find out just how far it reaches. So I measured a 10 by 10 area and used unique tiling for each 5 by 5 corner quadrants. I placed a crafting table as close to the middle as possible. Then I carefully picked 4 chests with items that certain key recipes needed, some dependent on another chest. I then tried crafting certain items like this metal animal trap for the top right green quadrant. Here I proved that it's craftable and then I move the chest off the grid to see if it's still craftable. After moving it I see that it's now out of range so I can't craft it. Let me test the top left white square which in this chest has rocks and cement in it. For this we're making the rock path. Let's move this chest and see what happens. Moving this one one square high confirms that it's now out of range. What happens if we move it to one tile to the left? Interesting, it's still craftable. For the bottom left we're using the scythe as our testing craft which needs content from both bottom chests and confirmed initially craftable. Now this is where things get interesting. I tried moving it off the brown and found that in all three positions off the 5x5 five five still allows me to craft. It's only when I move it one square more to the left that it stops. Let's complete this to see what sort of range the bottom right bricked section does which we're still trying to craft this scythe. The square to the right off the grid is out of range, at the outer corner it's still out but the one square down is still in range. With all this information now in mind let me use the tape measure again to mark out the outer corners of the craftable chests which interestingly enough comes to an 11 by 11 area. Here's another view of what is considered in range for this orientation but wait we're still not done. I'm going to remove the center square of this now 11 by 11 and try the table facing west, east and south. To start with the back of the table is facing north which I've got the left hand side of the table in the center square. When facing west I also have the left side of the table on the center square and able to craft everything that I was trying before. When facing the back of the table east I position the right side of the table to be able to craft it all and the same goes with positioning it south. So to summarize that when facing north or west keep the left or west side of the table in the center. When facing east or south position the right or east side of the table in the center of the 11 by 11. With all this in mind my table is oriented to the east and this is how I've laid out all my chests. I've consolidated my chests into two rows all close enough to navigate and put things away. This leaves plenty of space should I want to place the advanced cooking table at the back of the crafting table. The cooking table works in a very similar way and nothing stopping you from having one half for crafting and one half for cooking. Having said that I still have my cooking area separate which I did a quick test with cooking some meat. Again I tested the boundaries of the expected range for this south facing cooking table. For more videos on this new breezy autumn update check the playlist on screen and hope the members of AG Nation are doing great.